What's up, it's your boy King Brian. You're not tuned in to a new episode of Welcome to My Neighborhood on Silver TV. The term grandson came from when I was in jail. Some old head, he got to calling me grandson and shit. Then he said, I be acting how I move and shit. They started calling me grandson and I, I've been running with it ever since. All right, right now I'm in an area called Killer War. This is where I grew up at. I went to grammar school on 76 and Walcott. I like kindergarten or eighth, kindergarten or eighth grade. This is the area, so this play a um, big part of my life. I grew up here being bad game, banging around here and shit. Growing up wasn't really rough. It was decent, it was a regular life. Like we had everything we needed and shit, we just ain't had too much. Between like, I. Right, Kindergarten, preschool, eighth grade, I was just going to school, you know, doing shit, you know. Probably getting a little trouble doing a little shit, but playing sports, you know. I ain't start, like, you know, getting in trouble or nothing until like high school, 15, 16 years old. But grammar school, it's just, you know, childhood memories, fun, running around being bad fights, get caught for stealing or something, little petty shit like that. Oh, yeah, it's always been a lot of people outside, though, for sure. Out here, it's the area where everybody be outside, everybody. Like whole blocks before the shit. Then the area stretched from like what, 75th to 83rd? Ashland, like on him. When's the last time we seen each other? A minute, man. Oh, jail. Yeah, jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just locked up. Yeah, in the court. county. Yeah, court. We locked up. Yeah. We locked up, nigga. <laughs> you and that bitch sleeping on the floor. Oh, I remember the bull up here. We go to court. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why ain't you know? Come on, they know it. Huh? <laughs> ain't nobody better than him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see no my head. Head. Oh, y'all kiss my ass and kiss too. Now, the significance in Old Block, the name came from my homie O.D. Perry. He passed away and shit. He passed away like, what, August 2011? I wanna say, yeah. So that's what we got the name. Growing up over here, shit, it was like a regular hood. I was with my homies and shit, all my friends, so we grew up playing. You know, kicking it and shit. Then we got older, still kicking it, but other shit got to happen and shit. You know how that shit go. But like where we at, it's, it's low income and shit. Like all these, these low income projects, shit, so it wasn't a lot of money. So, you know, it tend to be where well, ain't a lot of money, it's a lot of violence. So growing up in here, shit. I was going to jail a lot of shit. When I got locked up for the drama and shit, like Dirk was the main one supporting me and shit, helping me, so. So we got even closer when I was just in jail. Then I got out, he flew me out there with him and shit. Got the rapping, so me and Dirk, you know, we like. You know, we've been like locked in, like since we was younger. My brother Vernie put us into him, and we just started like, locking in real heavy. And then, well, I think he was going on prom. I had gained my watch to go on prom. He going on prom, he locked up the next day with it. So when he came out, it was like, oh yeah, we locked in. So that shit was just crazy. Dirk really, he inspired me as all this shit. We in around him, seeing him doing this shit. I'm like, hey, let me do this shit too. Let me try to do this shit, folks, making this shit happen. Me and Dirk Evil Twin Project, we working on it now. Like, we trying to see how much money they gonna get us for that bitch. Ain't no date, we just got a lot of songs. You see what I'm saying? We could put out three Evil Twin Projects, but when are we gonna put it out when it's the right time? So the vibe, when I go back to the crib, shit, like, I go back to Parkway. You know, I see all my old, you know, friends, all the guys out there. All um, the guys, mamas and shit. Go see everybody, like grandmas, mamas, and all the kids be out there and shit. You got to throw something up. I'm passing out money really mostly back there. I'm gonna go home. Passing out money, doing this, and I don't really, I don't be trying to record. Just be kicking, vibing with everybody and shit. Cool, catching up. Goals I got for 2021. Alright, damn, I'm trying to, you know, everybody goes, go up to another notch. I done did all the touch base with like a little, like the family shit. Now I'm trying to help the community. Now I'm trying to get places like this about um, little daycares and shit. Just anything to generate money and make the community better and shit. Now I got a lot of friends. <laughs> I, it's my, now my auntie next to the line. Now my, you see what I'm saying? And then my friends, and you know, and I got, I got kids now. You see what I'm saying? So it, it, it never stopped. 
Like the giving and shit and help you, it don't stop. It just, you just gotta keep getting more money. As long as you got money, it ain't gonna be no problem. You see what I'm saying? I just gotta keep having money. So yeah, a lot of people about my past, they might, you know, I already jumped to the conclusion, I'm, you know, gonna be an ass or a mean or over aggressive or on some China, you know. But you know, nah, really, I'm, I'm cool, laid back. I ain't got a problem with nobody unless they got a problem with me all the shit. I'm moving forward, like the view people have on me, like it's gonna be something that. I love me to death, it's gonna be something that hate me, you know? You gonna fuck with a nigga, cause shit, I'll keep it on and I ain't on no fool shit. Yeah. Shit, I ain't started rapping till like, till I just got to jail for my um, murder. Like, that's when I started rapping. Like what, 2018 or something? 1918. I wasn't rapping none my whole life, ain't got nothing to do with rapping. You made crazy story in my house. Like he ain't out to write a song, none of that shit. So we had put that shit together and that shit just like took over the streets. Three things I probably need in the studio. One for sure, took him, man. He gotta be there. And then my homies gonna be, man. That's really at the mic, shit. I don't really need too much in the studio. I would describe Vaughn's music as authentic, uh, real. I describe Vaughn's music as like that 2012 drill sound. Like, to me personally, it's like how Sosa so was doing it, but like on steroids. My shit get the streets live, how much out of the streets jumping and shit, you see what I'm saying? I got that live music like a motherfucker down. Like I be um I be seeing tweets and shit, like females say they they listen to my shit when they work out and shit. Or they go to work and shit just to wake them up and have them, you know. I got energetic music, I got I got good energy music, you see what I'm saying? The streets listen to my shit though, like the real niggas love my shit though for sure. My favorite song with Vaughn is uh, Wayne's story. It's coming different. He's showing like um his creativity on that. Um he's showing like He's switching his flow up like nine times on the song. That's like crazy. It ain't like no regular basic ABC music. My writing process, it changed over the um, over these months and shit, over the last two years. Like at first, I started off, I had to write. I had to sit there and write the whole shit out. Now I go in, I can, I can punch in and shit. I can just go in there and get the rapping without writing, you see what I'm saying? I can go in there and just like, go back, go back. You see what I'm saying? But so, and there ain't really no time for right now like, since I've been busy. I barely write. Unless I hear a beat somewhere and I fuck with it so hard and I feel like I gotta say some hard shit on this, so I gotta go. I gotta write some shit to this. I do not wanna be writing like that no more. Nah, I fuck with it, like I fuck with good music. Like I ain't never been the type to be like, he sound like somebody or they sound like somebody. It's the reason we did it for, for um, like a culture thing. So when people with artists sound like me, I'd be like, oh, that's my little brother. Or, you know what I mean? But you're rocking out with him. LeBron James, like I ain't never, like with none of my albums and shit or, or tapes, I don't be really having no less expectations for them, cause I don't really, I'm still learning about the shit, so I don't know what to expect. I'm just making each song, taking it song by song. Like I make this, this a good song, this a great song, this song good, this song raw. And then I just put them all together at the end, so overall the project should be raw as it. Yeah, I like to work with Buka 600, I fuck with Mimo for 600, the whole Get Back Gang. Pete D-Ray, move up and them go crazy, Gucci them. Shit, Dirk. Oh shit with Dirk and DJ, Charles Squad. I like them, the 63rd trend, like shit. Yeah, I did that. But I ain't, you know, that wasn't the plan to get everybody saying that just, I'm from 63rd. That's what I be saying, shit. But hey, I fuck with everybody that fuck with me, you know, I be coming. Shit, fuck 63rd.